I'm here with Stephen Allison and Abdullah. We're outside uh, Old Trafford after Manchester United have beaten Chelsea 4-0. I think I joked that we might win 4-0 earlier. Did you? I did. I was, I was joking. I'm not mental. I thought we would win and I was confident we would win. I didn't think we would win like that. But let's get this out of the way, right? At half time, it was not a 4 0 performance. By full time, it probably wasn't a 4 0 performance. But we only had five shots on target. That was what you called United being clinical for the first time in a bloody long time. Um, we struggled in midfield against them. And I think as you come up against Liverpool and City, you're probably going to struggle again with them. But you've got to say, the counter attack was absolutely blistering. The defensive performance from pretty much all of them was absolutely belting. Um, David De Gea looks like the David De Gea that we used to have, not the guy that we borrowed for a couple of months at the end of last season. Um, a lot to be positive about, mate. And, is... and, can we just say this right? There's three teams going for one spot, which is probably fourth, if we're, if we're totally honest with ourselves. And you can argue amongst whether that's an acceptable target for a team like Manchester United, but it is our target, is to get back in the top four. We've just beaten one of those teams, so sweet. There's three points up on them already. Abdullah, how are you feeling after that? Um, I'm happy with that, especially the second half. And I think one of the most important things is having that defensive partnership with, and being clinical. Those are two parts of our game that we've always had a problem with. A lot of us were concerned with the midfield in the first half and one of them being me, like Pogba, completely out of that game. I think if Kante or someone else was in that game for Chelsea, they would have been winning that ball back every time from Pogba because he was way too slow on the ball. But moving the negatives out of the way, going into the second half, proving that we were clinical. Uh, Dan James getting his debut goal as well. Um, you know, Marcus, clinical in front of goal. You know, something that a lot of people have criticised him for and, and he's clearly worked on it in pre-season and we've seen today as well. So, again, like Steve said, you're getting one on one of those teams that are challenging sort of for the top four spot with you. So, you've got to be happy with that. Anthony Marshall, Marcus Rashford, did they leave you confident that we've got the players that can get us the goals this season? Because we've only seemingly got... Two, two full-time strikers. We can't. Can we count Greenwood as the third yet? I think because of the quality. Obviously, when you look at his age, he's only 17. But the quality he's got, you can almost count yeah, him as that. If that that volley went in today, it was a half volley. I'm not sure. Oh, it had that gun in. I don't know. But that that was Van Persie. <laughs> Jason. <laughs> I was just going home. But that that was Van Persie esque right there. And I think the other thing we got, I know Alexis Sanchez. We all bang on about him maybe not being good enough to come in or whatever. But that could be another option as a striker. I think in a fast counter attacking side that play the ball quick like we did today, he could flourish in that. He could be an option not to start maybe, but. What Marcus Antonio did really well today was interchanging between that striker on the left wing. And I think Tony was a bit static in like the first 15, 20 minutes. And I, and I was like, he, he loves to come out. I think that's why I wasn't a fan of him being the pure direct striker, because I think he'll actually get more goals being an inside forward, like Mane or Salah. Uh, Salah sorry. So I do think Marcus and Tony will work that side really well and they're growing into those roles. And it's, it's great experience, even like we're not going to win the league or anything this season. I don't expect us to, but if you get top four, and them to you know get over oh, 15 goals, then that that is a positive season for me. And we do we do still need something in midfield. Maybe someone like Garner can surprise us and come in. A lot of these young lads, we've got the Just quality. So a lot of these Save. young lads, they're gonna go on, mate. Is coming, go on. 21's coming. The Europa League's coming. <laughs> We're doing it all, mate. Who's your man of the match? Um, Slabed or Aaron wan has been I've getting got, most of it. I've got to give it to Maguire, man. He's absolutely brilliant. It's just, I've not seen any decent defending for that long. Like with Lindelof. He wasn't even that good today. He just did he the just basics. Did he just did the basics. <laughs> but on top of that, I think he was just first to everything, which you want your centre-half to do. And when he was aggressive, he won the ball. Chris Smalling, when he's aggressive, he'll win the ball. And he's just not good enough afterwards. And I think that's what Maguire was... Uh, that's why it was key to our game today. Him and Lindelof winning the ball when they were aggressive and not losing it. There was one moment where he won the ball and then just threw someone on the floor and I loved that. Uh, who was your man of the match? It's between those two really, isn't it? Um, I thought I thought Rashford lacked a little bit of quality, certainly in the first half. You see the crowd was just about to get on his back when he got the penalty and he put it away. Um, I thought Pogba was a little bit slow moving it through the thirds, at least in the first half and that did change in the second half and that was one of the reasons why I thought the counter-attack was a lot faster in the second half. Um, I thought Jesse's press was brilliant and that's why he plays in the bigger games it's like so this. important for us in these games it's, it's absolutely huge and yeah he, do, he doesn't have the you know the the ability on the ball like even angel did you miss that think. messy run that he did well yeah i mean and there was a couple of times that we did some brilliant one-touch football right from the back 
which if that can continue, then absolutely fantastic. But what we've got to get used to is we're going to lose the ball sometimes doing that. We're and we're going to concede a really stupid goal where we look like idiots. But well, we nearly it's did today when they hit the post. We, we attack in numbers, which means that there's so much work that you've got to do to be secure defensively and to be stable defensively. And we ain't there yet. Yo, Harry Maguire probably deserves to be man of the match because he's coming and put that performance. And he's, he's probably spent more days doing photographs from UTV than he actually has training with the boys. Mm. So you've got to say that's brilliant for him to come in and do that. And there was a couple of times where I've seen him start bollocking people around each other. We so badly need someone that can do that. So he's going to grow into that role. I think wan is going to grow into the role that he's got. Obviously, we've seen him a hell of a lot in pre-season. But there's a lot to be positive about. It's not perfect, but like we said, it's... It's a bloody good start. 4-0 at home against a rival. You can't really ask for more than that. Say it again. 21's coming. Cheers, guys.